and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a quick recipe for you. This is a very simple way to make your own hot oil. So you frequently see this in restaurants. It's a side dish. You can use it as a condiment on your food. Uh, it can be as simple as just putting a lot of hot peppers in hot oil or you can spice it up like we're going to do here. So let's get going with our ingredients. So we're each choosing a very neutral uh, canola oil. We've got all these beautiful dried uh, Thai bird chilies. Uh, in here we have some cumin and coriander. This is a small amount of Szechuan peppercorns. We have some sesame seeds, a bay leaf, uh, some cinnamon, some star anise, and a little bit of fennel as well. Now, of course, you can personalize this any way you like. Uh, the flavor profile is entirely up to you. Some people just use the hot peppers. Now, these are some uh, really nice... Uh, we dried these ourselves, some really nice uh, Thai bird chilies, so you can do whatever uh, level of heat you want. Now, with gloves on, because you don't want to be doing uh, handling peppers like this, uh, and then, you know, touch your face or anything like that, uh, we are going to uh, get rid of most of the seeds, but uh, really that is up to you. Remember, the more seeds you have, the hotter this is going to be. Um, now, for the amount, uh, as usual, all the amounts uh, are going to be in the description below. We're going to be using about a quarter cup of this. And you do want to uh, press it down a little bit and make it uh, sort of the texture of um, pepper flakes. And there you can see the stems and the seeds we're leaving behind. So Now we're going to get our oil nice and hot. Uh, if you have a candor thermometer or a deep fry thermometer, you do want to measure uh, the oil temperature. And we're going to be adding this to the... Uh, to the spices once it hits uh, 375 Fahrenheit. Um, now we're using just a very neutral uh, plain vegetable oil. You can use uh, anything without a uh, really strong flavor. You want something pretty neutral like a vegetable oil, canola, uh, peanut oil will work, uh, grapeseed oil as well. So we're going to get our spices ready. The ones that we're going to uh, grind up are the Szechuan peppercorns, the uh, coriander, the, the cumin, and the fennel. Everything else we're going to leave uh, pretty much as is. So that's about as far as we want to grind it. It doesn't need to be super, super fine. So we're going to toss that in with our other spices uh, already in there. And um, yeah, just give that a little bit of a stir. Make sure it's all uh, sort of combined a little bit. And then once your oil is good and hot, we're just going to pour that over top. And it's going to sizzle a little bit, so you want to make sure that uh, there's nothing uh, heat sensitive nearby. <laughs> you want to make sure this isn't sitting on plastic or anything. Uh, it is very, very hot and it is going to cook those spices. That heat is just going to wake everything up a little bit. It smells fantastic. The uh, We have raw, plain raw uh, white sesame seeds here and they will cook a little bit in this and you'll get that great sort of toasted sesame seed smell. So once it's cooled, uh, You've added the oil. Uh, just let it get that to room temperature. You can add it. We're going to add it to our jar of uh, oil that we were almost out of. We just needed to replenish. Uh, it can all go in the same jar. It's fine. You don't need to uh, start a new jar every time. Uh, there are still a bunch of usable spices in the bottom of that as well. So we're just going to combine everything. Now, uh, most of that stuff that's floating at the top will eventually sink down to the bottom as uh, as it sort of soaks up oil. And... Um, this is good in your cupboard. Uh, this is shelf stable. You can leave this at room temperature in your cupboard and uh, just bring it out as a condiment as needed. So you can see here, uh, everything's, eh, most of everything has sunk down to the bottom. We've still got a few of those sesame seeds and the hot pepper flakes at the top. And you can give that a little shake, make sure everything gets well distributed through there. You might get a little extra uh, sort of extraction of flavor if you get everything mixed in well and that's it so as I said that's gonna settle all the way down you're gonna get uh, uh, the layer of spices and sesame seeds pretty much sticking to the bottom of the jar and uh, makes a great condiment it's uh, it's fantastic on uh, lots of different kinds of food uh, if you have different flavor profiles you can use it for different kinds of cuisines whatever you like it's uh, really super simple so if you like this recipe please do like and subscribe and if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.